Hello everyone, welcome to episode 5 of Modding the Perfect Skyrim. Today we are going to learn how to use an EMP, how to enable and get an EMP working with our current mod list. And of course, the most important question for the most philosophers out there, how can I run an EMP into my system without taxing it too much? I will answer all those questions to you. That being said, we will get few more mods here and there in between because you know I'm very chaotic when it comes to that, but it's everything for your own good. Feel free to leave a like, throw a comment, subscribe, help this channel grow. It will be much more easier for people to find me out there who want to mod their Skyrim. That being said, let's jump into how to enable an ENB. First of all, you're going to go to this website, which again, I will have put a download link description. Uh, in my description uh, thingy on YouTube. You need to go here and grab the latest version of an ENP, which will be this one right here. Click on that crap, go all the way down and click download. And that will have the ENP series. What is the ENP series you might ask? Let's first of all extract it. These two files right here. And you can grab the ENP file if you want. But it's going to be changed later on. I'm gonna go and grab all of those three files and what you're going to do, you're going to go here and you're going to drop everything into your data folder in Skyrim. And that's pretty much uh, the ENP working. If you want to check if your ENP is working, let's go ahead and load Skyrim. And as you can see here, it's going to take you some time for the ENP to work, but once we will install more supporting mods again. That should, this process will be pretty much instant. And here we are. If I press Shift and Enter, you see the FPS. As you can see here, it's pretty much 6 to 1. Then don't go down. That's because we don't have that many mods. If you see my FPS going down in the video, that's because my bitrate is having some issues. But here, you will see. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, you can see. All of those pre presets here are things we can fix. Right now we don't have any NB installed, so there will be no effect for any of those. But we're going to fix pretty much step to field, lens when it comes to looking at the sun, have the lens coming down. I've been using a batch of ENBs before, but I want to try something new. And the ENB I want to try is the vanilla ENB too. It's a pretty cool ENB, and again I'm gonna show you how to install that and it looks it makes the game look like vanilla but slightly better. It doesn't make the game way too bleak. Something important to check out when you look through an ENB is the ENB compatible with your weather mode? Is the ENB compatible with your lighting mode? Which later on it will be lax for us. All of those questions you have to test. If you want to pick a very high thematic NB, I would suggest you to go for Rudy NB for Cathedral Weathers. And before installing an NB, you want to go to the requirements and you see the requirements right here. ENB series version 0.488. We have this installed. Let's go and grab the ENB helper. I don't know what the crap this is. ENP helper is mandatory for pretty much every single ENP out there. And let's go ahead and get the one for the version of our game, which we're using 1.597. Install this. And apparently this is a... Uh, I don't remember this being a thing before. It's required for Vanilla 2 specifically. And once you get, again, all of the requirements, our ENP is not going to look uh, complete, but something you have to have in mind is, again, always read the description. Reading, especially in Skyrim, the modding community is OP. What you want to do is you want to, in every ENP page, you want to go, and that's extremely important, and read all of the small messages, all of the features it has, and also check the installation guide. Here are some messages like disable the game's default SSAO, 8 with 9 FPS difference. We want all the FPS. I like Embed Occlusion a lot, but we will play with this setting around. Here you see by default the vanilla ENB is configured to maximize performance. And this is a preset this guy is giving us how to use this and we're going to do that again. Enable the pre-pass, you have some extra options. Enable rain wet surfaces, you're soaking wet, you want to save performance. So let's go ahead and grab soaking wet. Soaking wet is a mod that when you go into water areas and anywhere underwater, you're gonna have this texture play around. 
Okay, let's go and grab this one right here. Let's go to the files now and it is time to download. Never, never click mod manager download. Always manually download those. You need to pretty much tweak everything into your game and do exactly what the description says. And again, if you've never installed an ENP before, don't worry, we're going to do this together. The ENP series and ENP local are going to override the current ones that we're having. So I'll grab those, go to the Skyrim Special Edition, and literally all you have to do is copy paste those into your game. And that should do it. And let's go and test again how the ENP works before that. I'm going to put a description here into my other monitor so I can check all of those settings and see how they look. I don't know if there is going to be too much difference because again the NP tries to be vanilla friendly as you can see not too much big of a difference. I do see something going on with the colors. It will be much better if we go out in the world and open our presets and pretty much try out the uh, different uh, things. I've heard many good comments about the Vanilla 2 NP, so I was really... Oh, look at that! Do you guys see the coloring and some of the... That is actually really nice. Let's go ahead and, and check. So use effect here. This is with the NP. This is without an NP. Do you see the difference? There is much more lighting, there is much more color, you see the FPS on the top, 60, like if you put an NB on as you can see, when I turn it goes slightly down, but we always want to have 59 and 60 to make the game look as good as it can possibly get. Adaptation, the mod author insists to have it uh, on, enable bloom on, I don't like using a uh, lens, I do like the depth of field, but again we can check this later. I do like to use ambient occlusion because I'm gonna show you what ambient occlusion does. Let me strip my character a bit. So you see my character here. Ambient occlusion makes it where the lighting actually self-reflects on my character. If I remove this, do you see? Some of the shadows are gone. I think ambient occlusion is very important. The mod author says that if you disable ambient occlusion, you're going to save from 8 to 9 FPS and let's go ahead and if it affects way too much of the game you can always remove it so I'm going to open here let me go like this amazing okay anyway let's keep it going and as you can see we have one frame I see sometimes but it's pretty much the same with the ambient occlusion let's go ahead and fix all of the other things as the modder says Processing sun, everything is checked until the lighting which we don't need. So let's go all the way down. Wet surfaces, we're not going to enable wet surfaces to save FPS and we're using the wet mode for that, which is a very clever way. To, I've never thought about that, to actually save FPS. Okay, I guess it doesn't work. So that's pretty much the NB. Let's go inside the interior and check how the game looks. And again, that's the game without any lighting mods, anything like that. If you encounter any crashes or something weird going on, it's because of VRAM issue. If you don't have enough VRAM to run Skyrim or any program, that looks very... Very bright in my opinion, but you can fix the idea of the ENP. Let me go out because those guys are actually giving me hard time to talk. What I like about this CNB as you can see is that it feels like vanilla and you can always tweak the options. And again, it doesn't cost this much. I'm going to do the best I can to help you with the ENB and get the game the much more stable, the most stable game we can. That being said, let's go ahead and try a bunch of different mods and see how this will go. Don't get realistic water, it is outdated. Go and grab water for ENB. It's a very nice mod, it works for ENBs. Let's go and grab the optional file, clean under water and let's go and install water for ENB. Install this one and install the optional file. And next there is a bunch of mods to get from uh, Dubloom. Let me go to endorsements and we will find the ones we need to get. So we have a bunch of mods. First of all, go and grab Shadow Boost for ENB. All of those mods will help utilize again the ENB. NVIDIA Reflex Support. Again, it's a very nice one to have. Go and download that one. Next, get the Soft Shadows, which as you can see, uh, the Shadows are getting slightly 
more artificial, you lose some quality when it comes to the shadows, but you are getting so much FPS to the point where you won't, uh, you won't realize the difference. Which again, this is our, this is what we're going for. I am not going for a Skyrim that's full 4K and you watch those videos where people make for the perfect screenshots. The game we are creating is not for screenshots, it's not for those type of videos where you walk around and you explore the world, it's for actually playing the game. Next one, let's go and grab ENP Helper Plus. And there we go, get sets of Skyrim. This pretty much makes it where all different all water has variations and it's different. I like the darker lot for water and always go for 2k textures here, 2k textures here. And those are some of the mods that we should have. So let's check uh, really quick. Let's go for clean underwater. We're gonna get all of the JK uh, mods for a bunch of different areas. So for some reason. This mod requires us specifically to have this one, so let's go and install that. That's what I usually do when it comes to installing mods with multiple choices. And that should do it. Next one, let's go and grab Waiting Water. When you go into the water, a special animation plays where you slow down, which is pretty beautiful. To get to make this work, we need to grab the original Waiting Water, grab this one, and on top of that, download or get the waiting water redone on top of it click continue and that should download all the waiting water so let's get the hd local maps which makes the maps better quality really nice mode to have camera noise i love camera noise if you played the newest god of war game or some of the most modern games you have this shake happening in the camera which makes it look much more alive grab the camera noise here Avora fixes, uh, self-explanatory really, Apocrypha sky fix, get both of those here to work, grab this one, grab this one, weather of gold, this is nice as well, it fixes the gold map so it doesn't look scuffed when it comes to the different weather mods, grab weather of the gold, wait for it to be installed, target focus is nice, because when you look at summer, you see behind, it's going to blur some of the stuff and it adds and it adds much more immersiveness and also helps with the FPS of the game. Yeah, just get the first one here and that should do it as well. And then we have the HDR, which helps with the bloom and makes it slightly, slightly better the bloom. A game that did that in a wonderful way was Silent Hill 2, which had fog and bloom play in areas where some of the textures were really bad, so it's a nice and very clever way. Do we have shader tools? No, we do not have the shader tools. Let's go and grab shader tools as well. We do not use parallel textures, so we don't need that. Grab this one right here. Ignore the DLLL file because again, we don't care about parallel textures. If something happens, it's going to be something with that, but it won't. Grab both of those files to get animated enchants to work on your weapon. Both of the, the optional files as well to work with summaries. Then grab the visual animated enchants. I'm sorry for that for summaries. And install that as well. They look absolutely amazing. And last and lastly, this is the updated version, refined version of the visual animated enchants. Go and grab that on top of everything and that should fix the visual animated in Sans. Audio overhaul. So we pretty much require, before installing this, cancel the installation. We will come back to this later. Let's get audio overhaul, because it's one of the requirements we need to get. Grab all of those two here, and install the audio overhaul. Grab it right here. Grab the sound record distributor to make audio overhaul to work. And let's also get this one right here. And it requires the Immersive Sounds Compendium. So we will go ahead and grab that as well. It enhances the sounds when it comes to Skyrim. Grab this one and the Immersive Sound Compendium. Again, we will get much of the different mods to support, you know, all of the patches and things like that. But for now, grab all of those. Visual Animated in Sounds, 4th of Maturgy patch. Again, we will get most of those. And let's also go 
and grab Odin. I really enjoy Odin. Let's also check the requirements for Odin. As I've said, we're getting a bunch of... Oh wow, a new version? That's actually cool. As I've said, we're getting a bunch of different mods here. The clean textures for Odin. And let's grab the Odin textures clean. Audio fixes for Odin as well. And the reason why I'm grabbing that is for a later patch we will get later on. Immersive sounds. Compendium, the one we just installed. Audio overhaul. Enhanced blood textures. I don't use True Storm. And grab the last one, the balance for destruction magic when it comes to Odin. This is the Compendium, which is a very nice. Go for the smooth equip as fast as sounds as possible. And I like the less intense. We're going to replace the sound of this so we don't care too much. And grab those. I like the vanilla sounds, as weird as that sound. I don't like the brutal bears, they sound way too high pitched. I like this one, I like the wolves and I like the demonic drought. Uh, I don't like the brutal bears this much. So let's click finish, install everything. And let's also install, lastly, this one as you can see here, and we have pretty much three way, what is that? Okay, it's for cooking, we don't care too much about it. Sure, grab this one, I never used it before. And install the player's spell lighting. Let's go and grab lastly, stamina of stage, which also has a stamina bar for stage. This is a beautiful mod where it makes fires to hurt the player. I remember this was kind of a weird mod to install. So what you need to do, literally just grab. Embers HD makes the embers look on HD quality, it's pretty self-explanatory. Grab the embers HD, go to fire hearts and grab both of those mods. It makes it where when you step on fire, you actually take damage and you might say, oh, Cav, nobody cares about that. Oh, you do care about that because it's very immersive. So you are gonna go and grab this. And then on top of that mod, let's wait for the fire mod to get installed. We are going to install the reworked fire hertz, which is a better version, less script heavy of it. As you can see here, you're going to step on fire and you actually take damage. All of those extremely small mods help a lot. If you somehow mess this up, that's because you need to override the original ESM with fire hurt. So if we get actually a crash when it comes to a game, it's because we haven't done that. So we'll have to pretty much re so we'll have to reinstall fire hurt. I'm going to reinstall embers pretty much with everything we've ad added without the blacksmith parts because you're going to make the blacksmith look kind of weird. I also grab this one as well, alternative fire uh, effects and recoil on objects, which is super nice too. And that should be most of the mods for now. Let's go in game, check how they work. If you are modding scanning for over 10 years, uh, Vortex is so much more easier to handle. And let's see if the cr game is going to crash if I step into the fire. It did not crash. Don't worry again about the top left, we will fix those, but what? what? Oh. Let me actually make me go, oh my god, I actually died. Okay, so you can actually die, so be very careful of fire. Yes, we had a bunch of options with the, uh, you can go to additional weather windows now, because of the helper, there is so much more extra stuff. And let's go again, let's go to white run this time, and see how beautiful the game looks with our ENP. And there is the water, as you can see, it looks so much better. If you guys go back to the very first episode uh, and watch this, this is actually incredible with A and B. I think I love the new A and B and imagine how the game will look with the looks and the lighting mods that we will use later on. But the game looks great. Let's run all the way through white run. Let's actually sprint. There is the oh no, go away from me. There is the courier. You won't get me this time. Goddamn courier. I swear to God, he's an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood, and he wants to get me every time. How does he know every time where we are, you know? How have you, th have you ever thought of that? And I have no idea what I've just did, but apparently, if I press salt for a longer time, this happens. Let me go. And look at that. Again, look at our FPS. It's 59. 
of course. Um, what I was saying, in my previous mod list, when I was entering in a especially white run, because I had GK Skyrim, Dawn of Skyrim, and all of those city mods installed, I was having 30 FPS inside the cities. It, it, it of course has to do with HDD physics. And here you see an issue we have with the blacksmith forge, so I might have to install another texture on top of that. I will actually save my game, actually not here. Let's go into the sewers. I'm going to save my game right here. And you see how much uh, better the sewers look, by the way. And let's go on and fix the blacksmithing issue, that being said. I like the Ilsopa anvil texture. Let's grab the additional fire here. The Avil Hammer hotfix and let's also grab the 2k versions, all of those should fix the blue texture. Something important about blue textures is that when you see a blue texture inside your game, you will have high chances of your game crashing, so you don't need blue textures because the game tries to load the texture but because it cannot find any texture there is an overlapping happen and it's going to cause your game to crash and you also know what type of texture it is missing. So something, some general information there. Glorious doors, grab the glorious doors. It pretty much enhances every single door in the game and just makes them look so much better. One gigabyte by the way, grab it, it is worth it, trust me. You will find many doors in your Skyrim playthroughs and you need them to look the very best. Let's go ahead and grab a missile, which is a very nice uh, mod to have. So first of all, get the missile patch. Get the missile uh, mod. It's a mod that adds Witcher-like uh, quests in Skyrim. And if, if you play hardcore playthrough or something much more challenging, it's a nice way to make some gold. Let's go for the additions and the retexture and the Witcher board retexture. So first of all, missives is being downloaded. Let's go for the, again, all of those will add extra missives boards into specific other mods. I like the Solstein addition because Solstein has been missing that. If I mispronounce the name, it is what it is. I haven't learned how you pronounce this in 10 years, I'm not gonna learn it now. Uh, let's go here, continue on that one. So grab this, the pass for Solstein. I don't know about the second one, grab this one, grab this one, it's a texture that it will make the missives look like the Witcher 2, actually this one is it, and that will pretty much fix the missives on everything, I'm gonna show you how it looks in game, and let's also grab the unofficial material fix, and grab this one, it's going to fix some of the textures around different objects, let's grab the ICMS remaster for LOD, for different caves, Grab the ice remaster without the ENB parallel without the ENB add-on because the ENB add-on will require us to have the parallax thingy on. Uh, grab this one too, the Re Rudy HQ. Look at that. That looks so cool for the volcano. That's actually amazing. Go ahead and grab that. Just completely random mod I found that someone made uh, this very mod. Next one, a very big mod to get, which is the Morrowind Loot Ultimate. It completely fixes how loot works in Skyrim. So this one, again, is rebalancing the Anniversary Edition quest requirements. You might not need to grab this one, but I own most of the Anniversary Edition stuff. Again, this is for the Glorious Doors, go for the 2K, only for non-open city users, that's us. Everything on 2K, I wish there was an option to select everything on 2K and not individually every single door. I like the non-reflective one. Again, go for 2k candles and ENB light. We actually need to grab ENB light too. So grab everything other than the last alpha patch. Because of the Witcher mode, we need to actually get ENB light to work. Go for this one. So grab the patch 1, patch 2, it's patch 3, this one, and the glowing uh, cave worms. Do not grab the last one. Grab vis the parts for visual animated enchants. Grab the SMI textures, torch back. I think I'm not going to get the last one. That being said, here comes here comes chaos. Install everything here and trust me on that. We will fix those conflicts together because there's gonna be a lot of those. Trust me on that. Don't get that. 
Okay, they gave message to grab this one and also go and grab the Skyrim remastered glasses and eyes this one right here so we can actually select Skyrim remastered here I like the glow it looks uh, pretty cool actually and now this is where it gets complicated this part right here you have to follow exactly what I'm doing do not go for full install it is going to destroy your DNP light gives you light in all of those sources if you grab everything here your game will die so let's try to grab the ones we care about don't get a drag on fire it looks cool but it's not it's going to cause problems into your game don't get this one too I like the magic and weapon effects that's kinda cool. I like this one that adds light effects when you cast spells. Don't use this one because it's going to be very costly. I like this one for minor effects. And remember the ones you pick. I like the flame atronauts because you will be summoning some of those or the ice wrath. But yeah, those are the ones I will go for. The minor effects, magic hunt effects, and this one. And now all of the other versions, will, ex as you can see, they will have those. So there are different patches again. Go for Lanter, Smelter is nice, minor effects, the one we picked, the one we picked. Go for Atronauts, Storm Atronauts. We're having torches cast shadows and smoking torches, so grab this one as well for both of them. And this is going to scare you a little bit because you're gonna have so many conflicts, but do not worry. After this, we 100% will go into the game and show you how the game looks. And now it's time to click more and you see all of those, this is where it gets super complicated, so do exactly what I'm doing. Go one by one with the files, we are going to touch majestic mountains. If there is going to be a cycle, which will not be, it's going to be majestic mountains. Majestic Mountains have been completed, click save. If you, if you get a cycle, it's because of the latest line of mods you pretty much picked. Go for Noble Scary and do the suggested ones. If you did not have a suggested one, go for the before uh, rule of thumb I've said before and click save. You want to do those one by one. Animated clutter, suggested options and click save. Let's continue like this. El Sopa Medieval Lantern, go for Suggested and click Save. And keep going like this. Embers HD again, fix those. If something goes wrong, it has to be with Embers HD. I'm gonna do those like that because I know it's gonna be fun. Here you see there was not a Suggested option, but you always click before when you don't find one. If you will have an issue, it's with ENP Light 0.95. And we have a cycle. And it's completely fine. It's this one because we remember the name. So do this manually and you will be fine. Because we need this for a specific path and we're going to call it an episode. Grab the GK Silver Platin because we need it again for a specific uh, mod to work. Get this one which kind of fixes the sentence and Tours' uh, voice narrative. I'm going to explain to you why we need this later on. You should go and grab the Skyrim Excellent Cut. It's a beautiful mod that has been created. So go ahead and install it. It's an extremely big mod but it's absolutely beautiful and grab those two, those three patches and we're going to grab the rebalancing anniversary edition because you don't want all of those items to appear right in your face when it comes to having all of those extra DLC content if you have that if you don't you can completely skip all of the rebalancing uh, stuff once you get all of those done Morrowing ultimate loot which changes the loot when it comes to Skyrim and that should be the last mod for this episode so first thing first, pass for anniversary edition, grab that, grab this one as well for the leveling speed, grab this one too, 
the rebalancing which is the mod we've got before and summer mist as well many mods as you can see and now let's go and install Morrowind Ultimate get this one get all of the other mods or I mean additional files for it to pretty much to patch everything when it comes to the loot in the game makes it where looting actually feels like Morrowind which Morrowind had the best looting system in any Bethesda game in my opinion oblivion of being the worst that is and grab the Morrowind loot patches uh, you see here how we have some issues here uh, we need to remove the mystic patches actually so for the patches this is an additional Morrowind loot uh, patch uh, file thingy grab Ars Metallica, Cutting Room immersive armors uh, that's actually pretty cool improved close face helmets let's grab the improved close face helmets because it looks super cool actually CK is the drunkest uh, huntsman I don't know why it requires a specific patch for this but let's go and grab it because you never know when something is going to cause a crash or not and Skyrim exceeding cuts so grab all of those and those will be the last mods we should get, uh, fingers crossed, for the episode. Again, if, if this looks a little bit uh, overwhelming, you can slow down and watch what I'm doing much more slower, which will help you with things like that. This is the core files. We have all of those. I, if you don't have any of those, don't select them. That's because of me. Beyond Skyrim, book covers. Oh my god, do I have to get another one? Get the book covers for Skyrim, the updated one and get the normal map fixed as well so get the book covers of Skyrim updated because we need it for the other mod and get the normal map fixed as well so grab this one remove this one which for some reason doesn't work deploy mods and let's wait for a book of Sk book covers of Skyrim go for the saturated version cutting room oh boy of course it's not going to be the last mods isn't it get this one as well a pretty cool mod to have it changes this quest when you weren't used to it there is some higher thugs they won't actually act like a th assassins they will be thugs apothecary grab the main file and we will see uh, and set the seducers uh, hopefully this time that should be it apothecary changes how alchemy works it's a really nice mod no i don't care about this one it's very small book covers of Skyrim, Parthenax Dilemma and get the Parthenax quest expansion we will grab those in the next episode, it expands the quest of Parthenax let's also get lastly a median, extra pages and the normal one grab the complete pack and also grab the extra pages I have to keep, I have to stop saying this, this hopefully will be the very last mod for us to get Apparently, this mod requires the book covers of Skyrim, the very old mod, for some reason. We're going to disable that. Remove this one here because it works for the old version, old version of book covers of Skyrim. We don't have apothecary food. Okay, we need to get the food and drink add-on. I see, I see. Okay, everything is actually installed for once. We're going to launch load, launch the game, and there we go. Uh, there is three warnings which should be some mods require cleaning and this one requires the participle path lighting mode of course I light of course let's go and grab install this one very big mod for the ENB lighting to take part and actually work what about uh, the rest of the mods it's pretty much cleaning so the first one is called imp helm imp helm legend we're going to click ok Wait for it to get clean and close it. Next one is going to be MLU. Of course, MLU requires cleaning. Uh, it should be the big one. Go ahead and clean that one. And with the participle light, we should be able to finally launch the game. Which is why it's very nice to launch loot because it warms you for mods that you might have missed here and there. MLU takes quite some time because it is a very big mod and now close this just leave the game for the love of god as it is so you can actually launch it and show you how different the game looks 
Yes, ENP helper. Yes, custom textures. Uh, I'm gonna click no to custom textures. We don't want those. All right, let's click short plugins again. Apparently the load doesn't work properly, but we do have the participle pass for ENB. And I will see you to the other side. This recording took me two hours to make alone, so I don't know how short I will be able to do it. And you can see some of the shadows, they look already different, but that was from before, I just remember the very first episode we've made. First of all, I'm showing that we have no crosses, the FPS were going to be exactly the same, and the lighting looks so much better actually. You can see, look at the color of the armor. It looks amazing because we're using the Median Book of Silence, which enhances the textures of all of those. If you go to my previous video and see how the ebony armor was looking like, Oh, we forgot to add the grass fixes, but it's fine. I should be able to have a mod where it adds physics when you go through grass. We will do that on the next episode. But that's how the game looks now. It looks absolutely stunning. Let's go to Riverwood. You see the shadows are slightly diffuse, but you cannot really notice the difference. I love the color so much. You see again, 60 FPS even inside the village, which is beautiful. Uh, let me show you the waiting rod there. You see how the character slows? This is a future from Zelda Breath of the Wild, when you, when you go near water, your character goes slower, because it makes sense. And if you go into deeper water, it plays even better. Uh, we're going to, to change the stone holes, they look out of place. Which of the mods we have installed? There's so many mods. All of the doors are look different as well. And as you can see, everything works. What I want to do is, I want to wait until night comes, or night falls, I mean. So I can show you how the game looks at night. We haven't checked how the game looks at night, and have it mad, you can change all of those values through your ENB window if you don't like something. So this is as dark as it's going to get, and look at that. Oh, those are wolves? I have put the difficulty to master. Uh, you see the stars? I don't like how the sky looks, for instance. Go for the star animation density, and the more you put, the more animations you get. I will say put it somewhere around here. And like this, it will be much better. Save and configure. And all of the settings, as you can see, take some time for the changes to apply. And there we go. Again, you can change most of the settings, but I think this looks very close to vanilla and if not better. Look at that, this is beautiful. You will need to use light sources for this type of game. It might not look very nice for on YouTube, but on my monitor it looks even better. The water looks beautiful. Everything is just so much nice. And here is the waiting water, as you can see. This is the wet surface we've installed previously. It makes the textures look wet. And look how beautiful our game looks. And gameplay-wise, I can change the drifting textures if you don't like those. Gameplay wise, we've added so much content into the game, it's actually crazy. Uh, looks really nice, I do love the lighting. Because again, it feels like it belongs to vanilla. There you see the window lighting and everything here and there. We're going to later on, as I've said, add animation to grass. It is called Grass Collision. And it's going to make the game look much more realistic. And as you can see, zero frame drops so far. And I am going to intend to keep it that way. The way the dirt looks so weird when the giant attacks, if you just noticed that a few seconds ago, is because there is a mod that actually changes the texture mode when it comes to this type of dirt or mound dirt. The plants going like this is the windy Skyrim. I do love this CNB a lot. It really has to be maybe my most favorite DNB because the previous one I was using, the raw DNB, it makes the game look extremely colorful, if that makes sense. Has this uh, vanilla feeling, just slightly better. Oh, this is the gate, by the way, if you just missed that, I'm sorry. So many monsters, so I really want to see that anvil if it got fixed because it's going to drive me crazy if it didn't. Oh, and thank god, there you see it. Looks clean, looks beautiful, we managed to do it guys, we've done everything here just to make the anvil look better. And this is the immersive AI, when they wear hoods and things like that, which is kinda cute. That being said, like, look at the white run, you don't need mods to make white run bigger, better, because it's going to kill your FPS. White run looks so nice with vanilla textures, with 
we haven't added anything in white run with all of the in B lighting with the different you see for instance the doors we've added some of the vanilla stuff all of those different things here and there you don't need to add anything new like we're going to change the signs later on we're going to change a bunch of textures you do not need GK Skyrim or Dawn of Skyrim or any of those mods because again, when it comes to uh, how the game plays out, oh, this is this is the Witcher uh, boards, which are everywhere. You can grab something and you get a quest if you read it. Yeah, so many mods to add. That is for the video. If it looks very dark on YouTube, I'm very sorry. It's because again of my monitor. I'm using really bad monitors when it comes to recording, and I cannot have too high bitrate when it comes to recording as well. At being said, I'm Kavu. We just managed to reach 350 plugins, and we're going to keep going higher and higher thank you for watching feel free to subscribe like the video comment anything you want me to answer and it's nice to see how beautiful the skyrim gets take care everyone it was me Kavu, and until next time see you and peace